British Prime Minister Theresa May is under pressure from opposition lawmakers to cancel President Trump's upcoming visit to the UK. She's harshly rebuking the president's family separation practice, which he ended by executive order today, claiming it's not the way Britain approaches this issue. Nigel Farage is the Fox News contributor and former UK independence leader. He joins us now to weigh in. Nigel, great to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, I want to play a little bit of what Prime Minister May had to say, and then we'll get your reaction. The pictures of children being held in what appear to be cages are deeply disturbing. This is wrong. This is uh, not something that we agree with. This is not the United Kingdom's approach. Indeed, indeed, when I was Home Secretary, I ended the routine detention of families with children. Uh, now, Nigel, some of her critics are saying that's not exactly accurate. What do you say? No, it's not. And in fact, if people come into Britain illegally, families, you do get a separation of children and adults. So quite why Theresa May, as the longest serving Home Secretary for 150 years, should condemn Trump for a practice that happened under her watch, I do not know. It's just that she has to join the politically correct tide that criticizes Trump for whatever he does. And uh, I have to say, I find the whole thing pretty embarrassing, frankly. What do you make of the calls for uh, British leaders to refuse to meet with President Trump uh, when he comes to visit? Do you know, look at Macron, look at France. You know, different politics to Trump, diametrically opposed. And yet, on Bastille Day, the president went to Paris, the red carpet was rolled out, he was treated with the respect that the leader of the USA should be. And yet, we have got this lunatic left in the UK. Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, Jeremy Corbyn, leader of the Labour Party, who don't want President Trump to even come to our country, who want to protest against him being there. It's amazing. You know, with Brexit, with Trump, in 2016, the Atlantic should have got a whole lot narrower. The reality is it's actually got wider, I'm sorry to say. Well, and look what's happened with President Trump and President Macron. I mean, it's a full-fledged bromance at this point. Um, so those two have seemed to work things out, as you point out. <laughs> now, I want to talk about these bills in Hungary that have now been passed that are called the Stop Soros bills that essentially, um, here's what one report says. This is out of... Uh, Reuters Budapest saying this, the Hungarian people rightfully expect the government to use all means necessary to combat illegal immigration and the activities that aid it. That comes from their interior minister. Um, he says the Stop Soros package of bills serves that goal, making the organization of illegal immigration a criminal offense. We want to use these bills to stop Hungary from becoming a country of immigrants. <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. Well, because what Soros has done, he's actively encouraging people to come across the Mediterranean to flood Europe. Uh, and OK, you know, Angela Merkel played the useful idiot in many ways in helping this to happen. I think we underestimate who George Soros is. You know, the open society organization that he funds has already spent $15 billion in campaigning, and it's due to receive another $20 billion. This is an organized attempt on a huge scale to undermine nation states, to undermine democracy, and to fundamentally change the makeup, you know, demographically of the whole of the European continent. And thank goodness, Viktor Orban in Hungary has got the courage to stand up against him. But I tell you something, if you criticize Soros, his media friends accuse you of being an anti-Semite. It is quite mm. extraordinary. Uh, and, and, and I really feel that Soros, in many ways, is the biggest danger to the entire Western world. And he's got very deep pockets, as we oh, know. Yes. Uh, Nigel Farage, great to have you with us on Fox News at Night. Thank you.